Hello everyone, my name is Lopsightful, the creator of Proper Steez. Now, I thought I would show you guys what goes into a Skies of Aurora episode. I'm going to show you guys the writing process, like the uh, script writing software that I use. I'm going to show you guys the preparation, I like set building. I'll show you guys a couple sets. Uh, the actual filming, I'll show you guys our green screen and a couple techniques I use, and as well as the editing process. So. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more behind the scenes video. I'd love to do them. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy. So basically right now we are at, I like to call it the Proper Steez Studios. I know it's a little cheesy, but uh, whatever. Over there you have uh, Benefor and Lawrence's head. Just kind of try to make it like a uh, actual studio. It's actually, I modeled it after um, Stone Street Studios, which is Peter Jackson's studios. But uh, if you were like an extra, like if we did a video to come on the server to help with an episode you would pretty much spawn here and then we'd give you guys directions so i thought i'd just show you guys this i kind of like it okay so basically through here is the main green screen that we use on the ship um a lot of people in the comments always ask you know is are we using like a zeppelin mod or anything but no it's it's all green screen um you can see that you get a really really nice bright solid green which helps a lot in editing you don't have to like uh, color correct or anything so this is actually retextured jack-o-lanterns to make it really bright and give like a light effect so yeah that's that's this is stage one we have a stage two over here which i'll show you guys right now okay so this is stage two you'll see <laughs> the ship looks terrible we just kind of messed around with the outside because it's not shown but inside i think it looks pretty cool it's um I really like how this looks on camera, uh, but you'll notice it's a lot bigger than it really would be inside of the other ship. It's so confusing inside and outside, but yeah, it's a lot bigger than it really would be, but I don't know. I think it, no one's really noticed, so I think it works. So yeah, those are the two green screens. Usually we would have, you know, of course, people puppeting over here, and then we would just key out the green, which I'll show you guys later on in the editing process. Okay, so right now we are actually at the city of Silrock. I'm not going to show you guys what's beyond the wall, but because uh, that's for episode eight. But um, yeah, those are some amazing uh, sand hills that you just you should just enjoy. But uh, I noticed a lot of people ask um, what texture pack we use, and episodes one through six or five, I believe use the John Smith texture pack, but actually with the next few episodes we switch to the Conquest texture pack, which adds a lot of cool stuff. So actually this is Cobweb, and you can go in with World Edit and like replace the data values, and you'll get a lot of cool blocks like uh, the flowing smoke, which looks really, really nice on top of uh, chimneys, and you'll get the nets and these little spike things. That's just a taste of uh, the amazing blocks that this texture pack adds. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Uh, but yeah, a link to that will be in the description. I definitely recommend you guys check it out. It's really nice. Okay, so what you are looking at is a program called Final Draft. And Final Draft is basically the program that I use mainly to write all of these scripts. It's, it's a really nice program. You can uh, customize your keybinds and all that to uh, kind of make your writing process a lot faster. But if you're wanting to get into script writing, definitely uh, Final Draft is a good program to start. A link to that will be in the description below. Okay, so basically when we finished filming an episode, I'll edit all the footage, the raw footage files, the ones like the ones you're seeing right now. They look really raw, they're uncolor corrected, they look kind of terrible in my opinion. Uh, but I'll edit them all together to make a full episode. Then I'll go in each uh, clip individually and take it into After Effects and kind of spruce it up, you know, add all the effects, the mist, the background sky, and all that. I really think color correcting in a machinima like this, um, like a series, is, is really important to kind of try to boost the quality a little bit. And I always just like to use After Effects for color correcting and, and all my effects. I know there's other programs for color correcting, but uh, After Effects is just easiest for me. Uh, I've been using it for a while. But definitely if you're looking into getting started in After Effects, I'm not a pro or anything, but uh, once you get used to it, it's really, really nice. You can pretty much do anything you can imagine uh, video-wise. So. But yeah, that is pretty much a light summary of the video editing process. There is tons more that goes into each episode video editing-wise. Um, if you guys want me to go more in-depth with that, I can make a separate video for 
my audio editing process and, and the effects process and all that. Just let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this behind the scenes look. Let me know in the comments if you would like more of these behind the scenes. And I will see you guys later. Goodbye.